Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing along with our hardcore career mode videos, and uh, honestly, we're actually doing really well. We've managed to deliver, what, 15,000 litres of fuel here? Five of which was already here, to be fair, but um, yeah, we've delivered quite a lot more. So, now we've got lots and lots of fuel here. I think it might be time, because we've also got 52,000, it might be time to sail out there Try and find the extra fuel and bring it back. If that is the case, um, that would be brilliant. And also, we won't be using our truck today, so... Yeah. Anyway, what we might do then is uh, modify our boat, uh, make it work a little bit better, and then go out there and see if we can... Um, see if we can find the refinery. That's what we got to do today. <laughs> Alright, so we're actually going to be using this boat right here in order to actually do our mission. Uh, this is, of course, electric at the moment, but it won't be once I'm finished with it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and delete all these guys straight away and delete all of these guys too. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and smack in some engines, hopefully, uh, making this thing very nice. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to time lapse this bit. Hopefully you guys enjoy a time lapse of me smacking some engines in here. And then we'll go out there and we'll try and uh, find the refinery. Let's do this.
Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Welcome back to my face. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this like this. Obviously, I've added the two side things. Now, you might be thinking that they're actually pontoons. Well, we were going to struggle with actually pulling... Oh, not pulling. We were going to struggle with actually carrying cargo. Uh, and what I decided to do was actually to make these things on the side. Uh, and actually have them as fluid tanks, which should allow us to carry fuel. Um, but what I didn't do is actually allow it to get filled and emptied. So I don't know why I did that, but yeah. So I need to do this on both sides. Let me do this real quick. That goes there. Go ahead and delete this. And then add a fluid port to the bottom. And that should be fine. So yeah, we're going to be able to actually carry, flu ca yeah, carry fuel uh, using these guys, which is pretty awesome. Um, and that's just what I need. So there you go. That's done. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is actually add a cable thingamabobby. Uh, just in case this ship decides to either sink itself or something like that, we can actually attach a cable to it and, um, I don't know, fix it a bit. So that's good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to essentially just leave this like this. We're going to go. Uh, you will have seen me spawn and despawn this a few times, but that's okay. We're also going to go ahead and uh, turn this to zero and this to zero so that we can drive out there, get the fuel, come back, fill those up. It'll be brilliant. Um, the other only, or the only other option that I feel like we could have done is actually a trailer, uh, like a boat trailer, like a barge, um, which would work, but I'm not going to do that. Anyway, go ahead and spawn it in. There we go. I think we might actually do that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and drive this out of here real quick. Okay, hang on. We need to see if we can actually start the engine here. One sec. So... Why is it just going? Why is it just... Uh, did I not put a clutch in? I didn't put a clutch in. So we've wasted some more fuel doing this, but that's fine. So let's get some clutches and make sure that we can attach those directly to there. Excellent. And attach that to there. Attach this to here. Excellent. Right. So now we've got clutches. I don't know how I forgot that, but I did. Uh, we're going to put those there. And we're actually going to get a throttle lever for the other thing. So... This throttle lever is going to go right here. We're going to connect it from there down to here and here. And then we should be able to actually start those engines, get them working, and that'll be awesome. Yeah, I think this is actually fine now, what we've got. So, yeah, we're going to move this outside. Um, I will actually put a rope anchor on the front so that we can actually attach to the front if needed. There we go, just like this. Um, and we'll leave that like that. Completely fine, I do believe. So, spawn it in. Let's jump across here and see what the capacity of this is. 8,200. Same on this side. 8,200. It will sink if I fill both of those, though, so I don't want to do that. But anyway. Okay. Right, it works. Stop cranking. What am I doing? Alright, battery is not connected to the right thing. We're gonna lose some more fuel! Wait, oh! Okay, right, I hate this. I hate that we lose fuel every time. The reason we're losing fuel every time is because of the pipes. Essentially, if you've got any fuel left in your pipes, sounds weird, um, you, uh, you lose that much fuel. You don't lose any fuel that's in your tank, you just lose the fuel that's in your pipes. So remember that. Anyway, we're going to attach our battery to here to make sure that it is um, actually connected to the right place. Because at the minute, this is connected down to there for some reason. So there you go. It's on battery. Let's go ahead and spawn this in. We're going to drive this out of here. Then we're going to bring it back. Okay. We're just going to move it out a little bit. There we go. Throttle this down all the way. And we're going to start building another thing. Also, because it's nighttime, I'm going to make it daytime. Uh, so that you guys can see. Hopefully it doesn't make it really bad weather. Not that bad. Okay, good. So, jump in. We're going to leave that there. We're going to build ourselves now a trailer to tow with us. Uh, and essentially, it's just going to be there to fill with fuel. That's, that's all I want from it. We're going to fill it with fuel. So, hopefully this doesn't say edit. It doesn't. And uh, what I could do is actually load up this guy. Delete everything that's on it. 
There we go, including all of that, including all this, and these guys, and these guys, and those guys. And replace this with these, all the way across to the end. Deleting these guys as well, obviously. Yep, all of those are getting deleted, including these guys. For some reason, I'm not doing it on both sides, but I should be. So let me do that. There we go. Delete that guy right there. Delete all of these, all the way to the front. And plug in the hole on the back. There we go. And plug in this hole too. Way there we go. So delete those guys, put these ones on, put it to there like that, that's fine. Um, put this on the front, if possible. Just move it backwards, then put it there. Okay, and we're also, we've already got them on the back. So now this is going to be our extra fuel tank. It's going to be pretty much the entire thing. Uh, we'll know when it starts to sink, so that's what we should worry about, but yeah. I'm going to quickly paint this, um, add some fluid bits, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. <laughs> And there we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is get stuck in this. Are you kidding me? Why did that just happen? That's really weird. Anyway, attach this rope to the front. Go ahead and jump in the water. We're going to attach it to the back of this. And we're going to go on our merry adventures. Hopefully trying to find where we need to go. So attach this directly to there. We're going to jump on board this boat. If at all possible, which it is. There we go. And we're going to go. All right, let's go. There's no way this is this is, this is how slow this goes, right? There's no way. I hate this game. Uh, <laughs> I'm inside my boat. Like I'm in. I'm inside the boat. This makes zero sense. Luckily, I can return it to the workbench, but I fell inside of here from the top. That is ridiculous. That's so bad. That's really annoying. Alright, so obviously there's no rope left in that, so we're going to run backwards down the middle. There we go. We're going to grab a rope from back here. Doesn't matter which one. Uh, attach it onto there, and then run forwards. Attach it onto here, on the front of this, if we can. Let me let me get past this, please. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Attach it onto there. Now we're going to go find the refinery. How much fuel do we have? 8,900. Should be enough. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to go in a straight line, pretty much straight north. Hopefully that's okay. We got this. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, no. I've got an idea. Sorry. I, I said I was going to do it this video. I, it turns out. Turns out I'm probably not. I'm going to get rid of these things on the side. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and leave this out in the ocean. It doesn't matter. We can leave it here. That's okay. So if I can detach the rope from that, that'd be brilliant. There we go. I'm going to leave you there. We're going to go back to our base. And we're going to modify this a little bit more. Uh, to make it a little bit better, because at the minute, this ain't it. It's going far too slow, it's not very efficient. I'm going to get rid of the, the side pontoons, because they don't need to be there now that we're pulling a trailer. The trailer, a tow boat, I don't know, pulling that thing. Um, so we're just going to go back, we're going to delete those guys. They're not very streamlined. Yeah, let's do it. You know, I was just thinking about this. Uh, this is really not the boat that I would want to use for this. It's It's just not. Uh, it, it's not what I want at all, but you know what? It is what we've got, so uh, it's what we're going to be using. Hopefully that's okay. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Who knows? But um, we we should be good here. We should be good. So let's go to the back. Yes. Grab one of these. Uh, actually, we've already got rope. Let's just use this then. Uh, attach it onto the rear of here. Like this. Go forwards. Jump onto this boat if we can. There we go. Fantastic. Attach it onto there. Jump back across onto this one. Let's go. Throttle up. Let's go. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we're out of here. Woo, nice. So obviously our engine is going to struggle a little bit because we are now pulling something. But uh, honestly, that's okay. Uh, I might also be wasting a lot of fuel, which I probably am. In fact, I definitely am. So we're going to go and throttle back a little bit. Yeah, to lower our RPS a little bit, and then we're going to keep going. 
this will be fine. So we got a big old trek to do. Hopefully we can get out there and do it very soon. And then we'll be good to go and uh, get some fuel. I don't even know if it's going to be there. We're just going to head straight north, uh, like we did last time, and hope that it's in the same place. Whether it will be, or whether it won't be, no idea. But we'll see. Alright, so we are actually on our way up now. It is it is somewhat going well, I suppose. Nothing's happened to me yet, anyway, so that's good. Um, I'm going to continue going north. We have made it to this point right here, which is like the Rings of Fire update thingamabobby. Uh, so we got the Atolls and stuff like that here, but we're going to continue going north anyway. Um, this is... I don't know what that is. We're going to leave that there. Um, usually looking at the safe zones gives you an idea of where the islands are, so... There's, like, a lot going on down here, but I'm pretty sure these ones are on this island anyway. That one might not be. Don't know what that is. Hopefully it's not the refinery. Uh, we have this one, which I'm aiming for. Hopefully that is the refinery. If it is, that'd be excellent. Uh, if this one's the refinery, that'd be good too. If that one's the refinery, that one would be, would be good too. So, um, yeah, there's lots of different options here as to where we go. Uh, I'm just going to continue going north for now. In fact, I should select that as our place to go. And then we'll know kind of how far away it is. Six kilometers. Okay, how much fuel have I got left? 3,000. We haven't used that much. Okay, so we're going to continue going. Uh, hopefully, we find the refinery soon. If we don't, I might cry, but we'll see what happens. You know, actually, I'm starting to think maybe I should have put a little bit of fuel in the um, that one behind us in order to actually go out and find this place. I'm hoping that we are traveling in the right direction. Obviously, we are... I, I wanted to have a little look at that, but... We are going north. It's making me wonder whether it is actually even there, though. But if it's not this one, we'll check out that one. And it, But then there's going to be a tsunami, too. I, why does this happen to me? <laughs> why does this happen to me? It's kind of scary. Um, we've got the safe zone down here as well. That one would be nice if it was that, but I don't, I don't know. Obviously, it could be anywhere, though. It could be any of these. Um, I feel like this might be... Oh, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to go ahead and see if this is... The refinery. Uh, fingers crossed. Hopefully it is. Let's see if we can even see it yet. I can't see anything. Okay. All right. Can we see a thing? Oh, no, we can. There is There's an island there. I can't really make out what it is, though. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and continue. And um, we'll see what it is. I don't know what that face is. Guys, we found the refinery. I'm actually so happy. Like, I, w I was... Uh, we have enough fuel to go searching. That's why I was suggesting we would go everywhere else. But no, this is the refinery. And luckily, it is actually here. That is... This isn't too far away from our base. Um, again, though, I was lucky, I think, in the last one where it was straight above me. And because of the last one, I decided to go straight up again. And uh, it appears to be in pretty much the same place. Now, is it here on everybody's save? I'm not sure. Because uh, cause if it is, that's that's amazing. But if it's not, I mean, if you have to travel miles to get to it, that would suck. Imagine if the refinery was there. I'm sure they've made it further south. Uh, they must have. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and go straight into this. We're going to go ahead and fill our back end up uh, full of fuel. And then we're going to go ahead and send it back home. Now, you might be wondering what I'm going to do or how I'm going to do this. I'm going to fill that thing up so that it does actually slightly sink. I want it slightly below the surface because I believe well, uh, it'll be a little bit more streamlined underneath and uh, that'll be perfect for us. So it's probably what we're going to do. We're going to make it go underneath, maybe. But I'm going to have to fill it up first, so that's what we'll do. Okie dokie. So we're pulling in here. We need to figure out which one of these we actually need. I think one of them is for selling oil and then the other two is like one's jet fuel and one's uh, diesel. Yeah, so um, we need to figure out which one's which before we uh, continue, but let's go ahead and cut the throttle. And we'll stop around here. There we go. Hopefully that's all good. We'll leave it as is right here. Excellent. So, um... Diesel. Diesel! That one's the one we need. So, we're going to go ahead and jump off the top, jump into here, and refuel our actual boat. So, we'll fill that up first, and then we'll actually start refueling the other thing at the same time, too. 
Um, because I think we should be able to, so... I've parked pretty much directly in the right place. That's amazing. Uh, I'm going to take the hose from here, and we're going to use it on this bit. And here we go. So, attach this onto there. Uh, press pump. There we go. And attach it to our vessel. Hey, there we go. Is it refueling? It is indeed. Okay. We're then going to go back up again. We're going to get another hose and attach it to our uh, trailer. <laughs> I'm calling it a trailer. Uh, it's a barge, I guess. I guess it's a barge. Um... But yeah, we're going to go ahead and attach it to the barge, and then we'll go from there. So, let's steal another one of these. Go ahead and attach it onto another one of these. And then jump down onto our barge. Which is just there, and attach it onto there. Hey, yes, it's going to fill it up. So, this has 30,000 capacity. I can't let it get that high, I don't think. We just want to watch it and make sure that it sinks a little bit, but it doesn't sink too, too much. So, I need to keep an eye on that, actually. We really do need to keep an eye on it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and jump back on my boat real quick. There we go, jump back. Oh, my boat, alright, I understand what's happening now. Okay, so my boat is made of, uh, 1x4 wedges. 1x4 wedges are notorious for letting you jump through them. So, um, we need to watch out for, for that. I thought I was just inside of this thing, that would have been really bad. Jump up. Come on, jump on. Jump, 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 jump on, jump on, jump on, no, just let me jump on this thing, my guy, hey, there we go, okay, so we're going to attach it to this bit too, okay, it should fill up faster, I do believe, so that's good, uh, and now what we're going to do is actually run up and uh, sit up there and wait for the pump to finish, or wait for it to sink a little bit, and then we'll go, I want to have a look around first as well, we'll do that too, but... Yeah, we gotta wait first, so that's a thing. That's a thing. We essentially just gotta wait for it to slowly slip underneath the waves, and then once it's doing that, it'll be good to go, I think. I mean, this is a huge test and a huge gamble as well, but we'll see what happens, I suppose. Alright, so as you guys can see, the front end is slipping underneath the waves already. We're gonna wait for it to pretty much go fully under at the front at least. Um, and then we should be good to go from there. In fact, it's getting pretty much to the point where I want to stop it. Um, the further under it goes, the better it is for me, though. So if the whole thing sinks, that'd be brilliant. Right, we're gonna stop it now. There we go. So it's pretty much fell, fell under. Okay, yeah, okay. This might, this might not go well, but we're gonna see. Alright, let's disconnect these, go ahead and put them back where we found them. And, um, yeah, then we can, we can go explore inside, see if there's any crates or anything like that. And then we can go home. Yeah, alright, here we go. Do that. Let's go upstairs, have a little look around, see if there's any crates, and go from there. Would you look at that? There's a crate up there. I'm gonna have a little look up here first, uh, because, you know, we're closest to this. Um, I don't see anything just yet. Let's go upstairs again. Let's have a little looky up here. It is worth doing this, by the way, if you guys are ever in career mode. Always, like, have a little look around, see if you can see any crates, because they're the best thing in the world uh, to actually get in career mode, so... Yeah, have a quick little look around wherever, or any island that you get to. And make sure that you get all of the crates uh, that you possibly can. It'll speed up your uh, career mode by a lot, actually. So here we go, let's go downstairs again, go downstairs again, here we go. It's getting to night time and I don't have any lights on my boat, so we might sleep. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go get that crate, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. What are we gonna get? Let's have a little look, and six research points, and 4,500 cash. That's really nice. Actually, how much cash do I have? I have 41,000. So we spent probably like maybe 7,000 on fuel uh, when we got here. Can't remember how much cash we had to begin with, but it was it was around that. Um, so yeah, that's that's not bad. That is not bad. Uh, the other thing that I'm actually really worried about is that we get caught out by this. Because if we get hit by a big wave whilst one of my boats is actually underwater, um, it could be really bad. It could be really, really bad. Uh, and there it is sank. <laughs> this could be a really bad idea. It, it is a really bad idea. Uh, right, here we go. So we got quite a lot of fuel. Let's try and turn ourselves around. If we can. Why can't I turn? I can't turn. Alright, turn this off. I'll push it around. It's easier. So if we do this... 
We should be able to like move it around using our body. Using our body. And that'll be easier. There we go. It'll be easier than turning it around using the uh, thingy. So turn it. There we go. And you guys can see my other boat there. Uh, isn't actually touching the floor. It's not actually touching the floor. Which is perfect. It's exactly what I, what I wanted from it. Uh, please say this turns quicker. Come on. Turn all the way around. Pivot points and stuff. Go all the way to the end to do it. Here we go. Very nice. We're almost at a point where we can just start driving. If I floor it, it should turn the other one around. Uh, at least that's my plan. I don't want to damage things, though, because that would be really bad. But let's see what happens. Here we go. Ready? Okay, we're going we're gonna to take it somewhat slowly. He says, while flooring it. Okay, here we go. Get it out of here. Yeah, no, okay. That boat being slightly underwater, I think is going to be perfect. Yes, it has streamlined us so well. That's amazing. What I wanted to happen has literally happened. That's fantastic. Nice. We need to figure out how much fuel is in there so that future trips, we can do that again. Alright, okay, so I think I'm actually going to go ahead and leave this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of my submarine uh, barge thing. Let me know what you think of that idea. Obviously, it's not, it's not normal. It's not a normal idea, but it is doing what I wanted it to do, uh, which is excellent. And um, that's brilliant. But anyway, for now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.